and she said, because she'd tell me on the phone this week, she said one thing that it hit her during this, it's been a week so far of this 21 day journey, that the people who don't have, you know, if we go without food right now, it's not because we don't have it. I could go to my pantry right now and eat a bunch of stuff. You could too, I think. If not, see us privately. We'll get you some food, seriously. She said, made her aware of those who don't have. And when she said that just now, I thought, we look for all the big things to do, you know? Now, I do believe that when you intercede in the Spirit, you're interceding for big things. But that doesn't mean you're going out and doing them. I'm not traveling to France to speak to the president. If, if God told me to, I would, but I'm not doing that. But sometimes it's just the little things. You all are going to come together here in a few months on a Wednesday night, and you're going to pack backpacks full of food for children. And when she said that, it reminded me of why Backpack Buddy started. It started because a teacher at a school in this town saw a child scraping the remainders of his school lunch into, I don't know if it was a napkin or a pocket or something, scraping it into it. And she said, well, wait a minute, what are you doing? I don't know if she was about to fuss at him or what, but what are you doing with that food? He said, I need to take it home. It was a Friday. He said, I need to take it home to my little sister or brother or something, some sibling, because on the weekends we don't really get food. That's in this town right here. On the weekends we don't really get food. Because mom and daddy may not be home. Mom and daddy may be out doing drugs. Mom and daddy are out drinking at the club. Or mom and daddy take the money they made. Oh, God. Mom and daddy take the money they made on Friday in their paycheck. And they go buy the drugs and the alcohol and all that. And, and we don't have any food. And this was a, an elementary school child trying to save his food for his siblings. We have no cause to let that go by. So... Something as simple as us coming on a Wednesday night and you say, well, rats, I thought we should have Bible study. Bible study is wonderful. We're going to have plenty of them. And we can pack those backpacks with that anointing going in every little pack of applesauce and every little thing of ravioli, every can of beanie weenies, whatever we put in there, going home with a child. Sometimes it's the little things, step by step. It matters. Thought, I, I look at all of y'all sometimes and I think about the little things that I know you do that are really big things in the kingdom. I bet you Sandy's a, a, a witness. I, I know they feel something about her when she's a, what are you, a surgical tech or something like that. But she's in a room where somebody's getting operated on her nearby somewhere. I bet they feel that peace emanating from her. I thought about you a lot this week, Bonnie. Bonnie works with little children. How precious. I can't even think about little children. I'll start crying. I love little children. She works with little children. She gives them love. She takes her time to teach them. What you do, I just threw out a couple of them, but there's all of you. What you do matters for God. 